Hey guys, uh, we're modifying the weight of the clutch shoe on a scooter. And um, we, we may want to delay the clutch grab so that the engine can rev up to its power band and high into its power band and um, then the clutch grabs so that we get a an aggressive takeoff, maybe popping wheelies or whatever. Um, the other thinking could be that if you've um, modified your engine so that you've got a bit more grunt to it and you're wanting to take advantage of that extra power, you might want to add weight uh, to the, the, the clutch shoe so that it grabs just that bit earlier and you have the controlled takeoff at junctions and you might not be wanting to pop wheelies you know you you want a, a nice controlled takeoff and then when you're actually just running slow and you've you've broken the um, the, the the launch then you can whack up on the throttle and you're in the power band and you get a great surge of acceleration. So it depends on how you want to ride the bike. So areas to look at removing a metal from the, the clutch shoe so that it grabs later, so that you get that wheelie popping um, launch. Um, there they're fairly heavy of these, and so there's a good lead content anyway in the uh, in the metal. The place that uh, I would look at is at the flung end, it's because it's pivoting like this, okay. And so this end is the most important in terms of weight, and so any, removing any metal from this end. Is going to have the maximum effect and um, this this tip here that's surplus to requirements and it can be removed and um, you can see I've drawn a line there and what you need to be doing is you need to be leaving about three millimeters between this slot. So as you can see there's a slot there and if you leave about three millimeters of metal that should be enough and then thereafter all that top can come off and that is absolutely on the money if you if you can remove that tip that's going to have the maximum uh, effect. Other areas where you can remove the metal um, if you look I've made a, a black mark there and there you could drill through just as has been done here you could drill through and that's going to come through on this side where uh, the, the clutch spring is you could you can go through there um, with a hull so the first uh, the first thing to take off is this tip here and what I would do first off is I would clean them up and weigh each one and uh, mark the weight of each one and um, take off the tip and then take off the tip on each of the three uh, and, and until you get the the same weight for each for each clutch shoe. I would probably try it at that and see what effect that has before uh, drilling out any further. If you want it to be any lighter, then uh, then you can pop a hole in here, and um, that's going to reduce the weight even further. Okay, so that's yeah. Well, there's another area where we could take um, weight off, and that's here on this area here it's doing nothing okay there's where the uh, 
the Klitschul locates on the rubber grommet. And as you can see, this area here, which is on the money, and you can take that, that, that back. So you, if you take this off, you could take this off the second and uh, get all three clutch, clutch shoes the same with this off and then get all, uh, all uh, clutch shoes the same with this area off and then you could drill out um, here. So step by step you can lighten and test and lighten and test. Um, to put weight on and uh, yeah you that's what, in fact, what I'm going to be doing is putting weight on. Um, ideally, we'd want to put weight on at the flung end, but there aren't that many places to do this. Um, we have an area here, and a bigger area here where we can add weight. And also, there's an area here. You can see that area here, which is fairly close to the pivot, the pivot point. So it's not really on the money, but this area is uh, this area is a very easy area to add uh, weight. And if we add weight here, we can also add weight below it here. And that should be sufficient. Um, how we can do it is by using lead. And um, an, an ideal uh, lead uh, availability is wheel balancing weights. I wouldn't trust the, the sticky substance to hold because these clutch shoes can get hot. So I would remove the, um, the, the, the sticky material with uh, acetone and I would use uh, something like JB Weld which is a high temperature two part epoxy to bond the uh, lead to the, the clutch shoes. Yeah okay so um, here we have a piece of lead that's attached to this segment, this area here at the back. Um, easy to do. Um, it was actually whacked into place. It's so soft you can whack it in with a hammer. Um, I actually initially just took a piece of cardboard and uh, placed it over the the edge and literally just sort of whacked it around to get hmm, we can say oh, it's too bloody light yeah there okay it's got me a starting point um, for the for the shape once you get it pretty close um, and it's a bit of messing around but it's a bit of fun you know and it, I don't know to do with the three it's an hour no more than that when you get it close you can put it on the anvil and simply bang 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 and um, if it's a little bit oversized you know you just it, the lead is softer than the uh, the actual clutch material so uh, it just falls into place like this and um, then just weigh all three it doesn't matter you know if they're slightly out because we can bond them with the JB weld and then tidy up and bring them to the same um, weight okay so we're gonna um, bond now don't waste time not um, cleaning up the faces having spent a, uh, an hour making the lead segments 
uh, get a, um, a file and some emery cloth that you find lying around and um, you know give it, uh, all the faces uh, even the sides here and here and the, the, the bottom face give them a good scratch up you know um, so they're they're shiny and there's some some decent grooves you know you can take the, the, the file and get some scratches in and have a look and yeah do all that you know don't, don't waste your, your previous time um, JB Weld you want to hear what I've got is just two can you see these tiny globules uh, there's a white and there's a black and you can't see the white you got there yeah so it's just the tiniest little bit we're not going to need much you know um, and get your bamboo skewer which we use for everything and uh, give it a good mix in and um, get it on both components and put it together okay so um, then that's it till the next day all right bye.